Well, guys, I've put several hours into this little machine, uh, testing it here, um, to find that I am going to conclude this device for now, or it's just going to go away in a box. But um, the best situation with this device that I was able to attain was the center tapped. These here configured, I, I can't get quality results using the secondaries right now. Uh, but using the auto transformer, the best attainable results was uh, here to midpoint and here to midpoint, about two kilowatts at, at full brightness. Um, uh, I cannot attain any better results at this moment, and I'm not going to put any more time into it. I've already put countless hours in it. So um, go ahead and build them. Uh, it's definitely a work in progress. And uh, um, the limiting on the capacitor through the system, it's, it's not due to the capacitor. So um, in this sort of a configuration, even with a larger capacitor there, this works. I can get throughput through that now, finally. You know, maybe uh, 450 watts. But when I have a second capacitor on there, the two counts cancel each other out, and uh, the whole uh, oscillation and everything comes to a cease. It'll resonate for five, 10 seconds, increase in brightness, hit a certain point, and then collapse the entire thing. So, eh, it's too much headache right now for me. I'm in the middle of my baby. So we're going to configure these all to disruptive discharge, and they're out the fucking door. All of them. All of them. Done, gone. See ya. <laughs> and uh, they will produce a certain amount of power. They, they will be configured for their most ma maximum output, but uh, to, to attain two, two megawatts into this, you're going to be putting kilowatts, many, many kilowatts into that. So be that aware to you. Uh, you're not going to just get two megawatts out of this thing indefinitely without putting like 20,000 watts into it. Um, <laughs> you have to drive 8 UF at like a million times a second. So you have to supply enough energy to fill that capacitor. 8 UF, 1 million times a second. That's uh, a lot of power. <laughs> so uh, they will, they do have the pretend, potential in disruptive discharge to produce 2 megawatts and beyond, really, uh, up to 400 megawatts if you were able to control the beast. Uh, they come uh, switching uh, maximum 60 joules, probably in and around the 25 to 30 joule is uh, like, you know, what these things want. So now... To, to get that 30 joule, you've got to put 35 million joule into that in every second. Uh, 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 30, yeah, 35 joule times 1 million flashes a second is 35 million joule in one second. So uh, if you do the math, you'll obviously know that you're not just going to put 10 watts into this and get 100 kilowatts out of it. I mean, that's, that's just uh, <laughs> outlandish. So... Uh, the output of this cannot easily be calculated because half of the output comes from the step down after the collapse. So it's just impossible to calculate an output. But uh, an input you can calculate. And uh, uh, for 400, four mega, 400 megawatts, you would have to supply 400 joule 1 million times a second is what you would have to supply to this to get 4 megawatts out of it. And then whatever gain is attained from the rest of the device would be over and above that 400 megawatts. Either way, it's unrealistic because nobody's going to use 400 megawatts. And uh, uh, the case of the point is, this is getting off my fucking table now, finally. It's built, it's done. Uh, you want them, you go and configure it. I expect maybe 2,500 watts at best out of this device. Perhaps uh, you may be able to configure it in some other kind of... Uh, arrangement that you'd get a little more but mm, the best design is the one I already did and finished and is for sale <laughs> straight up anything else this is a waste of your time you're going to put six or eight months into that to get that thing to work the way you want it to work and then it's not going to produce what you expect it will so that calls on you I'm done with the thing it's going in a box I can't get any more in about two kilowatts at full brightness out of it. I get far better results from the smaller toroid with a quarter of the work and a third of the price. So, you know, have at it. <laughs> All right, guys. Have a great day.